Good evening, everybody, or late afternoon. We welcome you into Bear River High School. We got the Bear River Bears baseball team taking on the Bonneville Lakers. The Bears coming to this one with a record of 6-6 six and six in Bonneville. Not quite the season they wanted to start out like with a record of 1-4. and four. But still a lot of baseball left to play, and we're glad to be playing it. Helping us again on the call will be Mr. Clay Chernus. Good, I'm glad you're hooked. On the mound. Oh, as I say, great day for baseball, a little bit busy, but other than that, the sun's out, gun's out. Good afternoon, going. Yeah. Yeah, we were just talking. If the breeze cools down, it's almost a little warm. Yeah, yep. So on the mound for the Bears will be number 14, Zeta Marble, here for the Bears. Bears drop the series to Ridgeline, and then spring break happens over there in Cache Valley, so we get to play a Bonneville Lakers team. Up the order here with number four for the Lakers. It's Tyler Story. And Marble with the first pitch will get a hit and foul out of play here by Story. Straightens this one out to center field, and there's a solid single for Story and the Lakers. Good job right there, staying back, just staying through the box, not trying to do too much with a leadoff hitter. It's what you want out of a leadoff hitter, see if he's got some speed on base. Probably look to run here and maybe bunt. Next up for the Lakers, we go to number A, Jackson Wood. Marble's first pitch to him is a swing and a miss. They check the runner on first. Gets back. Good dig right there by Easton. Uh, letting it ball get past him so we don't move up a base. Oh, won the count at the plate. Marble with the delivery. Runner goes. He's going to get caught in between a rock and a hard spot. And the first out. Here for the Bears, comes from East Delish. Pretty much textbook right there. Uh, you got uh, Tate's a read guy, meaning that he picks up and reads what the runner's doing. Um, if you're a runner right there, you're going first movement because it's probably straight steal. Um, kick over, East does a good job throwing where we can where we can catch it. He's doing a good job. Always looking for one throw and a rundown. The fewer amount of throws you can have, the better off you are. Back to the plate as the 0-1 pitch popped up and out of play. Marble ahead in the count, 0-2 oh, now. And a swing and a miss in the first strikeout. The missed catch will be still out of first. Landon Reeder doing a good job back there blocking that ball so he can get to it and throw him out. You catch, as a catcher, you got to have some trust in your pitcher. Your pitcher's got to have trust in you. You know you can throw that ball in the dirt and I can still get it out with it. Next up for the Lakers is going to be number 24, Aiden Taylor. He sends this one for right out on the left field. Hat flies off and out number three. Must be Marble out there in left field. Now that's a great catch, especially for a guy that probably doesn't play a ton of outfield. He's usually behind the plate. Doing a good job laying out, making it out. There's a CNR replay as. No run scored here in the top of the first. We'll go to the bottom half when we come back.
Lincoln Financial specializes in estate, investment, and retirement planning, as well as business benefits. At Lincoln, they are totally impartial, comb through different options to create financial products a person needs. Lincoln Financial, big city service, small town care. In the mood for a burger and fries? Look no further than the grill. They have plenty of mouth-watering options for everyone. Stop by for lunch or dinner and complete the meal with a tasty dessert. Having the regional campus here in the community has been the reason that I went back to school. All my classes were in the evenings or late afternoons. It's been a lot of hard work, a lot of time spent away from my family, but it's so worth it. Now I can get the degree that I always dreamed. I've always wanted to be a teacher, and that's going to happen now. My name is Amy Wells, and I'm an Aggie. Welcome back to Bear River High School. The Bears will start out with number 16, Garrison Marble, up to bat. Garrison had a pretty good day yesterday. I think he had three hits in the game yesterday. See if he can continue being hot here. Hayden Story on the mound here for the Lakers. Just misses that one for a ball. Fouls this one back to the backstop. here from Story and this one fouled up and away by Marble. And with a one two this one misses outside for ball. Tough take right there by G that's a tough pitch but being a leadoff, your guys' your jobs get on base. So take that pitch, get the next one. And the 2-2 gets popped up high, playable. In foul territory, and Lakers can't track it down. With the wind today, that's a, that's a tough play. Uh, honestly, that ball probably on a normal day with the wind blowing not or not blowing, that ball gets out of the park. And it's going to bring it back in. That's a tough play over the top of the first baseman there. Back of the plate, still 2 2 in the count. Story with the pitch. Garrison holds back, full count now. Payoff pitch here, see what we can do. Full count pitch from Story and a swing and a miss from Garrison on the first strikeout here for Aiden this afternoon. Good, nope. pitch, good pitch right there, down in the zone. Uh, Garrison will have another chance. He'll he'll learn from that at bat. But uh, it's that's the hard part about being the leadoff guys. You don't get to see a lot of those early on. You got to be the kind of the guinea pig for that. So he'll pass that along to everybody else. Hunter Spoot now steps into the batter's box. Nobody on, one out. Here's a pitch from Story, fouled away by Smoot. with another one. Smoop gets this one out to right field. And out number two, going to be caught. Good positioning right there by the Lakers. Uh, right fielder's in the right spot, honestly, playing in a little bit to push there. 
Ball to spin it up in the right spot. Two up, two down for the Bears. We go to Easton Lish now. Watches the first one go by. That's a ball from Story. It's going to be three. Finds the gap and rolls to the fence. And a stand-up triple here for East Olish. So that one kind of came back to, uh, to haunt the Lakers right there. They had the right fielder playing in again on the, uh, on the line, and Mason just smokes one to the gap, and your center fielder was also playing to pull a lot of real estate right there. Easton does a good job going gap. Let's see if we can bring him in now. Next up, the man to do the job is Ashton Harrell. This one down in the dirt. Ball one. Story with another one. This one misses as well, trying to get the corner. Good count to hit in right here. Look for some action from Harrell right here. I understand Harrell had a pretty good day yesterday too. See if we can if he can continue. 2-0. We watch as another one go by, and that one's a strike. That's a 50-50 pitch right there. Good 2-0 take. This one not going to go very far. There's a chopper down the line, and now he's going to struggle with it. Easton Lish will score. Ashton Hart with the RBI. Kind of a swinging bunt right there. He'll take it. Looks like a base hit in the book. Bears first on the board. Now we'll go to Marcus Collister. He's looking at two outs and a runner on first. This one rises high for a ball. Check the runner first, he gets back. It's a good move by the pitcher right there. He actually has a pretty good little move uh, for a lefty, so good job getting back by Ashton. He'll take a one-way lead right here. I doubt we're gonna be too aggressive, two outs. That one looks good and it's in there for a strike. Ties the count of one. Again with the runner on first, two outs. This one will go down as a strike. Marco, Marco got to shorten up right here and see if we can't put someone play hard. This one fouled away. Good job spoiling that pitch right there. This is a tough pitch down and out. Good job fouling it off and getting another one. Still a one-two count at the plate. A swing and a miss. Pitch missed by the catch. The out of first. We'll put this inning in the books. Bear strand at one. We get a runner in. One nothing will go to the top of the second when we come back. Thanks for shopping here at Ken. Thanks for shopping here at Ken. We appreciate your business here at Ken. Thanks for shopping here at Ken. Thank you for shopping here at Ken. Thanks for shopping here at Ken. Thanks for shopping at Ken. Thanks for shopping here at Ken. Thanks for shopping at Ken. Thank you for shopping here at Ken. Thank you for shopping with Ken. Thanks for shopping here at Ken. For all your project needs, shop at Greer's Hardware, happily serving the community since 1976. The Pie Dump is a big supporter of your Bear River Bears and loves to see students come into their shop. 
They even have a menu just for them. So swing on in before school or during lunch and enjoy the deliciousness they have to offer. Caldwell Banker has a team of dedicated professionals who handle the complex process and make sure things run smoothly. Save time and money with Caldwell Banker. Welcome back here to Bear River High School. Top of the second with the Bears in the lead, 1-0. Starting us off here in the second will be number two, Tata and Macy. Here's a swing and a miss. Strike one. Again, in the circle, or on the mound, excuse me, for the Bears. It's Tata Marble. Another swing and a miss, strike two. Find the ladder right there. See if we can finish the deal with, with uh, two strikes here. Be tough, not give me anything to hit. And Good a clean. Right Frank Mace could do strike out first one. Well, technically second here for Tatum Marble. That's a good job right there, climbing the ladder again. Once he chased the first one, why not try again, double him up? Now we go to number 27, Cole Story. Fouls this one back at the backstop. A lot of stories on this team. Yeah, I was going to say, that's like the third one, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Maybe, they, maybe, they, maybe they're all brothers or cousins. We got a few of those here, too. True. <laughs> Here's the 0-1 from Marvel. That'll hit the dirt before home plate for the first ball. Looked like the curveball got away from him a little bit right there. Just tried to overthrow that one. Got to trust that one a little more. This one chopped down the third baseline. and over to first. Not going to be able to make the play there. It'll be safe and a runner on with one out. That's a, that's a tough play, base hit right there. Uh, Ashton did pretty much everything he could do. Easton did a good job coming off, making sure the ball doesn't get past him. See if we can set up another ground ball, fly ball right here, get another out. Now we move down the order to number 23, Justin Parkhurst. I'll go check the runner at first and he gets back. Marble misses the zone on this one. One all the count, runner on first with one out. Marble with another delivery, and this one about the same spot, another ball. Close pitch right there, got called outside, got to come back now, 2-0, we need to do something. Looking for action here, look at hit and run, straight steal. Get to that time for a strike. This one fouled away out of play. Good job by Tato getting even right there, getting the count back to 2-2. Two -two. Now you can do a lot of things with two pitches. The pitch, swing and a miss, and another Frank Mace could do strikeout here for Tatum Marble. Good job right there by Tatum, falling behind 2 0, come back, get the strike out there. Look like a little curveball. Yep. Two outs now, we're still a runner on first here for the Lakers. Next up, we go to number 12, Cole. Minnick. See how aggressive Lakers want to be here on offense a little bit. You got a left-handed hitter in the box. I would look if they're going to run, they're going to run first two pitches here just to see if they can't generate some action, get a runner in scoring position. And again, Bears in a good position here to get out number three. Oh, and he beats Slish back to first. 
good, good. Tr that's actually a good play by the base runner right there, getting out, getting out around Ace and Easton might have been inside just a little bit. Coach Haas is going to come out and ask if he wasn't out of the baseline, which is pretty tough right here. I think he probably was, uh, but where the umpire's at in that position, uh, that's a pretty tough play to call. Uh, he's not right in that line right there. That's that's a tough play. Yeah, we're not quite up to ESPN standard with yeah, having a camera down the yeah, lines. But. Yeah, and not having four umpires there to be on, in the line. It's that's a tough play. I mean, I, I think it, I think he could have called it, um, but it's probably probably one of those no calls there, just where he's at. So it's reset. We got a runner on first. Two outs. And Cole Minnick at the plate. Here's a pitch. Foul away. Soft hit goes foul. Let's see what Coach Marble dials up right here for Tato in the on the O2 pitch. Some girls a little inside. What curveball, which is not a bad spot to put that curveball. Don't throw it over the plate. Make him put the baseball on something that's outside the zone. There's a one, two. Foul down the first baseline. Double them up right there with uh, back to back curveballs. That's good strategy. I know that uh, Coach Marble likes to do that every once in a while, especially if he thinks that uh, we can beat him on the inside with the lefty lefty matchup there. Marble with another one, two. This one gets straightened back over to Marble. And the secure out of first, leaving a man stranded for the Lakers. Good job right there, Tato. Instead of coming inside curveball, went outside curveball right there. Hitter had to really go out and try to try to do something with it as a lefty and got it right back at him. No run scored here for the Lakers. Still one nothing for the Bears. We'll go to the bottom half when we come back. Whether it's drinks or treats, get your fix at Soda Fix. Let Academy Mortgage help you get into the home of your dreams. Give them a call today. For all your embroidery and screen printing needs, whether for business or just for fun, stop by Cover Up in Tremont or Brigham. At Cover Up, yeah, we can do that. Jared Giles to start off the bottom half of the second inning. Aiden Story still on the mound here for the Lakers. Good eye on Giles on that one. Ties the count up a one. Swing and a miss. Someone drops low, Giles tries to take it anyway. 
Not seeing that pitch real great right now. There's a couple guys that swung at a ball. It's only about 55 foot curveball, not even coming over the plate. Just got to sit back a little bit, see a baseball a little more. Watches this one go low for a ball. And the count tied again at two. About the same spot, same result, full count. First walk here from Aiden Story will get Giles to first. Good job by Jugger right there. Learned learn from the one pitch he swung out in the dirt, saw everything else down, and made an adjustment. So with a runner on first, we go down to number 10 here for the Bears, Hunter Haro. So we're going to miss to start this one out from. Good time to put a little pressure on right here. Look for a bump, hit and run, straight steal. Harrell sends this one out to center left. Got the ball going to get down. Score a run, should be a triple right here. Giles rounds third and down. Goes Harrell. Harrell looks to run now, slows down. There's an RBI triple here for Hunter Harrell. Got that ball up in the stratosphere a little bit again. Hit, hit one uh, in the gap. This ball, ball's hit more direct left or direct center. It's probably going to be caught, but he hits it in the gap, turns into a triple, get RBI out of it. Now I got a chance to score another run right here. Now pitcher versus pitcher as we bring number 14, Tatum Marble, up to bat now here for the Bears. No outs and a runner in scoring position. First pitch outside. As a hitter, you kind of got to love this position right here. They got infield in, which means a lot of things are going to work to score a run right here. I don't even have to necessarily hit it real hard. Just got to put it where they ain't. And this one just misses. Let's count of two balls, no strikes. This one in the dirt. Aiden Story falls behind in the count, 3-0. to battle back. There's a 3-1 count now. Good good 3-0 take right there by Tato. There's, don't want to swing at that pitch. You can't do anything with it anyway. It's a borderline pitch. Umpire calls it a strike. That's all right. Come back, get something else. Story with another one, and this one's out of the zone. And walk number two here for Aiden Story. Put two on for the Bears. Good at bat by Tato right there. Didn't get anything he could hit. Uh, you know, you really can't do anything with any of the pitches, even the one that got called a strike. Not going to be able to do anything with it. Take it. Get down to first base. Put an extra guy on, means an extra guy can score. Alec Collister will take a spot at first. Next up to bat here for the Bears will be number 13, Rhett Christensen. I think Rhett had two, uh, multiple hits yesterday as well, so. Start this one off with a swing and a miss. Of course, we did score 14 runs yesterday, so probably, <laughs> probably had a few people that had a few hits, I'm, I'm thinking. Yeah, the Bears getting a good win at Cedar Valley. Oh. Good idea right there. I mean, it, it doesn't feel like it, but we're only up one nothing. Oh, two, uh, two, two oh now. Um, it's a good time to put some pressure on, make the defense play, uh, see what you can do early in a count. He's got one strike left, and so uh, Rhett's just got a battle right here. Little safety squeeze, didn't quite get it down. Runner goes second. Get up. Ball gets past third baseman. That'll bring Hunter in. Still trying to bring the ball in, and that'll clear the bases as Alec Collister scores another run here for the Bears. Uh, 
speed hurts sometimes. Uh, a little little bit of pressure right there. Uh, went straight steal. I know that uh, Rhett got the strikeout right there. Probably not what he wanted, but uh, it worked out well for us. Gets two more runs in. So the last pitch was a strike, so the strikeout puts one out here for the Bears. Back to the top of the order. Garrison Marble watches the first one drop out of the zone for a ball here from Hayden Story. Follows it up with a strike, ties the count up a one with one out, nobody on. Bears with a 4 0 lead. Chops this one short. And he's safe at first. Person <laughs> Marvel showing some speed. Yeah, showing some wheels right there. Shows why he's a pretty decent uh, wide out on the football team as well. Because, uh, I mean, honestly, that place probably got to be an out, but it takes a long time to get to the second baseman. And if there's not a lot he can do with it when he gets it, he's just got to hurry and flip it out of his glove, which he does a good job with. But uh, he just he beat it out. And we're going to Hunter Snoop. One out, one on here for the Bears. Tries to hit the corner and misses. Again, I think you'll see Coach Haas be a little bit aggressive right here. We're still only up 4 0 in the second inning. Want to put some pressure on people, want to move the people in motion, make them, make them adjust. Garrison Marble gets back to first. Second, Garrison Marble. Yeah, more speed there. I mean, that's that's hard. I mean, you got a lefty on the mound. Uh, you know, you, you got everything good for you on defense, and Garrison just flat out, he's just fast. <laughs> so it <laughs> makes it hurt right there. One out and runner on second now. Another one to Hunter Smoot. This one goes high from Story. Real the count. Smoot way ahead. That one's in there for a strike. <laughs> good, good take there. I don't know. That was a little high, but that's okay. You're going to get those. It's all right. It's high school baseball. We're going to get some uh, pitches that probably aren't strikes, called strikes. You just have to react to them. Respond, not react. Calls that one a strike two, three one as the runner takes third. Two steals here from Garrison Marble. Uh, good heads up play right there, just a delay steal. Just saw that they weren't looking at him when they were throwing the ball back and take a base. Here's a pitch from Story. Shot back over, has a little problem with it as it rolls out to center field. And when the dust settles, another run comes in here for the Bears. And Hunter Smoot finds himself on second base. That's outstanding hustle by Hunter Smoot on, on that play right there. He didn't he didn't hit the ball hard. He probably is not what he wanted out of it, but instead of sulking on his way out of the box, he gets out of the box fast. He gets the first base and they make an they make an error and instead of uh, just coasting into first base, he's looking to take a base. Does a great job, puts himself in scoring position for a guy that's extremely hot right now. Easton Lish with a swing and a miss. Easton was the co-hitter of the week last week in uh, Region 11. He, had, he was 6 for 10 um, on the three-game set against Ridgeline. So. This one goes outside here for Story. Count tied at one, one out, one on. Strings this one out, sends it out to right. Pause. Holds Smoot at third, so a runner on first and third here for the Bears. Great job by Easton there, spraying the ball the other way. I think he's two for two today, right? Yep. 
Got a triple last time, settles for a single this time. And next up we go to number four, Ashton Harrell. Pops this one up and out of play, foul ball. See if Ashton can put a ball hard and play in the outfield right here, see if we can't score a run from third. Nobody out. A lot of things will work right here. Ground ball up the middle, gets past the pitcher, fly ball, base hit. Runner goes second. This ball drops out of the zone. Easton Lush advances through second. Hunter Harrow on third. Here's a pitch, and this one's set into the gap. That'll bring one run, two runs in. Ashton will take second. After the Lakers have a little trouble with it. Good job by Ashton right there, staying back, putting the baseball the other way, not trying to do too much with it, get a line drive, and being aggressive on the base path. I'm telling you, we're running the bases really well today. I realize that Bonneville's not made not done a lot of things right that way, but uh, it's easy to get lazy and, uh, and not take bases when they're out there or not do the right thing and be in the position to take a base when they're out there. Coach Haas has the boys playing really well, understanding the game right there, understanding the bases mean runs. It looks like that'll be it here for pitcher number 24, Aiden Taylor, here for the Lakers. Another story though coming out of the mound, this time number four, Tyler. Here Coach Haas telling, telling Ashton, uh, good job Fox, that's his, that's his new name. <laughs> <laughs> Warm-up pitch is coming here for Tyler Story. We'll step aside. The Bears lead 7-0 in the top of the third. Bottom of the sec or second, sorry. <laughs> yep, seems like third, but it's bot only bottom second, isn't it? Yeah. Tanglewood Studios has something for everyone, whether it's dance, cheer, color guard, or gymnastics. There's even recreational all-boys gymnastics along with mom and me classes. Enjoy co-ed hip-hop, classical ballet, Point, Contemporary, Jazz, along with Karate and Parkour. Tanglewood is a USAG licensed gym offering bars, beam, vault, and a spring floor. Mom and Me and Toddler classes are offered in music, dance, and gymnastics. Tanglewood Tots Preschool includes dance, gymnastics, music, and live sports. Singing classes, guitar, and musical theater are also offered. Family rates are available, so come join the fun. Welcome back to Bear River High School, a 7-0 ball game. So we're still in the bottom half of any number two. You got one out and a runner on second here for the Bears. After the pitch change, first one to see him will be number two, Marcus Collister. Let's see if Marco can have a little bit better at bat right here. Marco's been hitting the ball really well, really well for us. Uh, that first at bat just seemed a little bit out of sorts. Maybe it was a, a good pitch by the the pitcher as well. See if he can bounce bounce back right here and get us something in play. Tyler with the first pitch, and it will miss for a ball. And a hit by pitch. Marcus will take one for the team and onto his base. Two on now here for the Bears as Jared Giles will come back up to the plate. That's a tough one to get out of the way of right there. It's, it's kind of like no, no matter what you do, it's going to find you on that one. <laughs> He's hurting a little bit down there. Yeah. Hit him right. I think it hit him right on the outside of the uh, the ankle bone right there. That's no fun. Yeah, it'll sting for a while. Now 
Tyler Story with the pitch in the dirt gets behind catcher. Earners will advance. Again, pretty much have to right here with the score. Again, Jugger's in a good spot to do something, get somebody in. Holds back on the swing, and that's a ball two. Just gets a piece of this one, gets it back to the backstop. Just good 2 0 hack. Take those being a little aggressive, trying to do something early in the count when you're ahead. Um, looking for a fastball. Story with another pitch. This one line and we'll get past shortstop. That'll bring a one run in. And that's all on an RBI single. Jugger got a curveball that time and uh, got out in front a little bit, but uh, you know, it, when you're playing in like that, you have no, you have no error, uh, room for error as a shortstop because you just have no room on, uh, on a ground ball. You got to get to it and uh, put it out of his reach right there. Score another run. Still nobody out. No, uh, my bad. We have one out. Yeah, with one out, you have Hunter Harrow now stepping up to the plate. He's looking at one out, two on. This one misses. Catcher finds it quick, but runner will advance to second. Giles on second. Marcus Collister on third. Story with another one. This one drops out of the zone. Two balls, no strikes. Holds back, you'll watch the strike go by. Tough pitch to hold back on Hunter, wanted that one a little bit. <laughs> you see him, it was a curveball coach, yeah. <laughs> he was looking dead red right there with the 2-0 count. Takes a swing at this one, that'll be strike two. Probably got a little ahead of himself right there looking at that, that fat one that went past on the first one and then uh, thinking that was gonna be in the same spot. Just gonna take a deep breath right here. Settle the brain a little bit, look for a pitch. Don't try to do too much with it. Here's the 2-2 pitch from Tyler Story. And that will just miss. We got a full count with one out, two on here for the Bears. Three straight off speed pitches from him right there. I uh, don't think he'll go four, but you never know. I'll look for a fastball right here. Burns it in there, but it drops low. Base is loaded now here for the Bears. They've got Tyler Story surrounded. So we go back to Tatum Marble here for the Bears. Tatum got a chance to really break it open right here. Base hit, scores two more. Puts the game really in a, in a pretty good spot for us. Swing and a miss, strike one. Another swing and a miss from Marvel. A little aggressive right there on Tato's part. That's okay. He's doing a good job. Taking a deep breath right there, resettling things. Knows he's in an 0-2 hole. Going to look for an off-speed pitch right here and see if he can do something with it. Swings at that one, but the ball does get past the catcher. Everybody rotates one base. They call him out. Yeah, with only one out, the base is occupied, so it is an out, but... Uh, Still score a run on it. Nobody on first now. The Bears got a 9-0 lead. Back up the plate, number 13, Rhett Christensen. Pops this one out of play, foul ball. Good swing right there from Rhett, like it being aggressive early. Got two outs. His job right now is to bring these two runs in, get a base hit for us. There you go. Sent back up the middle, and it'll get out to the grass, bring two runs in here for the Bears.
give the center fielder credit right there. That actually was a lot closer play than I thought it was going to be. I didn't think they'd have any chance of getting him right there. Kid made a really nice throw from center field at the plate. Uh, Hunter just a little bit too fast there. Top of the order again here for the Bears. Garrison Marble looking at two outs and a runner on second. Once again, Rhett Christensen doing his job, which is make sure that if the ball goes to the plate on a ball in the outfield, you are on second base, so you're in scoring position. He does that. Impressed with our base running today. Doing a good job with that. Garrison fouls the first one away, back behind the backstop. Tyler Story with the 0-1 in there for a strike. Make, make it, it over his head. That drops. That'll bring another run in here for the Bears. As a stand-up RBI double. He went up and got that one. Kind of a tomahawk chop around his eyes. He wasn't going to take that one. The, the pitch before that got was a little high. Got called a strike. So he's like, all right, if you're going to call it a strike, I guess I'll swing at it and see what we can do. Twelve nothing, bottom of the second. Hunter Smoot now back to the plate. That one goes inside, hit by pitch. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's, he's like, I want to hit anyway. Give me, let, let me hear. It only hurts for a minute. That one's in there for a strike here from Tyler Story. Two outs, one on. There's a 1-1 one -one pitch. Gets behind the catcher. Runner stays. Not sure B saw that one go to, the, go to the fence. I think he thought it was in the dirt. Thought the catcher blocked it, didn't move up on it, but that's okay. Probably a probably a good idea to stick and stay up, up uh, 12 nothing. This one goes upstairs for a ball. Three one the count. Story behind. Fouls this one away. Just missed that one, Hunter. Hunter knows it, man. He was like, that was the pitch I wanted right there. Good hack. That's got a battle right here with two strikes now. The full count pitch here from Story. Ah. Smoot tries to take it, and out number three comes at the plate, leaving one stranded on second. But the Bears open a wide open here in the bottom of the second. Scoring 11 runs. Good thing for the Bears. See if we can play defense now. Hold them down. That'll be good. 12-0 ball game. We'll be back to the top of the third. Monday through Saturday. With a new tasty soup every day, you can pick up lunch or dinner all week long. Find out which flavor is your favorite by picking up a small bowl for $3.99 or make it a large for $5.99. For all your project needs, shop at Greer's Hardware. Be sure to check out the wide variety of Milwaukee tools at Greer. They'll make the perfect addition for your next project. Greer's Hardware. Happily serving the community since 1976. Welcome back here to Fairfield. 
for some Fairbairn baseball. They have a commanding lead, 12-0. Lakers trying to get back into this one, and they'll try to start it with Hayden Burton. That one in there for a strike You're from Tata Marble. This, uh, this is a kind of a, a, a weird inning right here. You just put up 11 runs in the top of that inning. He's, we're on, on the bench for a long time. Uh, sometimes sometimes we don't lock, lock in uh, on that second piece of that, so we'll see if uh, Tato can come back in here, throw some good strikes, and we can play some defense behind him. There's a swing and a miss. Good job right there. Marble with the one two pitch. And there's the Frank Mace Kadu strikeout. No rust on that one. That was a good that was a good sequence. So now we move to number twenty six, Landon Minnick. And he'll try to take a swing at it and miss. That's what you want to see out of your pitcher, Philip, the strike zone when you have a big inning. Good job right there. Ashton without number two. The Fox. <laughs> Being foxy on that one. Looks good. Going back to the top of the order here for the Lakers with Tyler Story. Back on that one, too low, ball one. Tries to get it all in that one, comes up empty. One ball, one strike, two outs, nobody on. I like the way this, he's a leadoff hitter, he does a good job. I like the way he swings the bat, he's got a pretty good, pretty good presence in the box. Got fooled on that one a little bit, but I like the way, I like the way he's in there. Marble with another, and this one goes into the dirt. Swing and a miss, and that'll be out number three. They go down in order. Bears back up to bat after having a Great inning. Good job right there by Landon Reeder. Honestly, he's not hitting today. He's j his job's just to catch. Um, he's locked in and he's doing a good job making sure that uh, he's catching for Tato and doing a good job calling pitches and making sure we get outs. Nobody scores. It's 12-0. We'll be back at the bottom half when we come back. College is pretty expensive and concurrent enrollment classes are like five bucks a credit. It's such a good deal. Financially, it's just, it makes sense. It motivates me a lot more to learn more in the class. It's been really cool to be able to not only learn new things, but also receive high school and college credit. It's not just another class that you take in high school. It's actually something that's going to help me in my future. I think that USU is really out to help students get where they want to be in life. That's what's important about a college. The Pie Dump is a big supporter of your Bear River Bears and loves to see students come into their shop. They even have a menu just for them. So swing on in before school or during lunch and enjoy the deliciousness they have to offer. Caldwell Banker has a team of dedicated professionals who handle the complex process and make sure things run smoothly. Save time and money with Caldwell Banker. Let Academy Mortgage help you get into the home of your dreams. Give them a call today. Welcome back. This is the third pitcher we'll see here from the Lakers. 
Coming in to take over for our Tyler Story will be number two, Tatum Macy. First batter he'll see is number five, Easton Alish for the Bears. I'm not sure that's what you want as a new guy coming in. <laughs> you know, get the guy that's uh, red hot, got a uh, triple and a single today, and was uh, ten for, or five for ten, six for ten last week, and I think he was four for four yesterday. So, tall order for a new pitcher coming in to see Easton standing in the box there. Macy with the first pitch to Lish, and it'll miss for a ball. Tries to go inside. That one misses as well. Good time to hit here for Easton. Here's the 2-0. And Easton will swing on that one and another single here for Easton today. Probably, probably not the, this, uh, the hit Easton wanted, but he'll take it. It gets, it gets through the right, or the le right side right there between the second baseman and first baseman. Just wasn't quite on time with that pitch, but uh, still made it happen. Ashton Haro now up next, looking at no outs and one on. Chain on that pitch. Ashton will foul it away. Ashton knew he missed that one. He can, he can, he'll see that one in his dreams tonight. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Had all day. Yeah. Yeah, he was on time with it, everything. Just just didn't quite get on top. Holds back on that one, but that's another strike here from Macy. Pulls the chain on that one, and that was, this one will miss. Good take. That's a tough take right there. The ball's not coming in real hard. It's a curve ball, and uh, just high. Ashton doing a good job making sure he sees a pitch. You check the runner first. Lish gets back. There's a one-two pitch. Hit softly back over to Macy. Routine out of first. Lish advances to second. Nothing spectacular, but with two strikes, he does do his job, which is to get the runner up to second base. Tried to kind of get around that ball a little bit. Should have looked to take it the other way. But we got Easton at second base with Marco come up, see if he can do some damage. Collister fouls this one. Back over to Haas. <laughs> Your coach, the coach is in the dugout giving Coach Haas a little bit of a, a hard time right there since we booted that ball. Got to cut him some slack. He was a catcher, not, not an infielder. <laughs> True. There's a 1-1 pitch from Macy. Collister sends it over to first baseman. We'll get the easy out number two. Oh, he missed it. Excuse me. Ball, yeah, right. ball, sn ball snuck through, man. Yeah, yeah. probably the first baseman looked like he got a little bit uh, confused as to whether the second baseman was going to get that ball or he should step off and do that. New first baseman over there. Sometimes that happens, a little miscommunication. Go down as a base hit because nobody made a play on it. But runners on first and third, and up to the plate now. Jared Giles, one out, two on. Another off 
speed pitch. Macy misses that one for a ball. This one goes upstairs. Two balls, no strikes. Got to expect to get a fastball right here. Dropped over the shortstop and out of first. Safe at second. Out of second. Safe at first. East Miller scores. <laughs> A lot of stuff going on at hey, right there. Hey, uh, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's tough. That's, you know, you got, you got the ground ball, the shortstop. Uh, Jugger does a good job of making sure we don't get doubled up on it. Easton has a heads-up play. They know they're not watching him coming home. Score another run. Hunter Haro now takes a shot, sends this that one ball. out to the left. Ball looked like it was hit a little harder than it was. Got up, kind of got up in the wind stream right there. Got hung up, but. The Bears will leave one stranded. But score run, 13 nothing. We go to the top of the fourth when we come back. Lincoln Financial specializes in estate, investment, and retirement planning, as well as business benefits. At Lincoln, they are totally impartial, comb through different options to create financial products a person needs. Lincoln Financial, big city service, small town care. The Grill has a wide variety of homemade appetizers. Can't decide what to get? Then build an appetizer combo. No matter what you're craving, The Grill has you covered. The Till Mill is a local shop that has a wide variety of tumblers, bags, and custom hats. No matter the outing, they have the perfect product for every occasion. This season, the Till Mill is Bear River Live's In the Bag sponsor, helping to wrap up the coverage of each game. Andy Marchant Photography specializes in portraits, family pictures, bridals, and engagements. He also takes thousands of photos of Bear River sports, allowing you to sit back and enjoy the game while he captures all the action. Check out his website andymarchant.com or follow him on Instagram. Let him help you preserve your memories at a great price. Whether it's drinks or treats, get your fix at Soda Fix. Kent's is your one-stop shop for fresh produce, bakery items, deli and meat. Stop by today for fast, friendly service. Welcome back here to a Bear Field. 13 nothing. Tatum Marble with a pitch fouled away by the Bonneville Lakers. Number eight, Jackson Wood. A couple of defensive changes here for the Bears. Looks like Alec Callister went out to second base, and you got the freshman over there at first base, uh, Garrick Marble. Half-hearted swing. That's strike. Number two. Hey. We'll start out with a Frank Mayskadu strikeout from Tatum Marble. Sitting down Wood. Tatum throwing well today. It's a, it's a good back-to-back -back outings for him. That bodes well for, for the Bears, especially if he can get going all, all year. Um, solidifies either the two or the three starter with that makes a big difference for what we need to do. Hayden Story now up for the Lakers. Takes the first one as Marble misses hit in the corner. Two straight balls here from Tatum Marble. Tries to work it back up. Marble behind in the count, 3-0. Need a bulldog right here, make him run away on right here. Don't give him any starts. See if he 
can't get even in the count right here. Get us an out. The three one screams in there, and I believe that's the first walk from Tatum Marvel this afternoon. You are correct. He's been really good, and and you know, like again, like you said, we're up thirteen. Uh, sometimes the, the can't shake the rust all the way off. Sometimes. Tatum Macy now up to bat over the Lakers. Marble with the pitch in there for a strike. Has a count up a one with a runner on first. One out. Fouls this one. Back to the backstop. That's where I like to see you heading the count now. Like to see be efficient, make them earn earn uh, bases. Even if they hit it, that's okay. Marble to throw out a first. Still the play with one ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss and another Frick May Skidoo strikeout. Second one here in this inning from Marble. Really nice job right there for Tato coming back off a walk. Get a strikeout. Making sure that they're earning burning bases out there. Cole Story now. He's looking at a runner on first, two outs. Marble with the pitch. In there for a strike. They're swinging a miss, strike two. Swinging a miss and two put out here by Tatum Marble. Not exactly sure what his pitch count is, but uh, it's got to be fairly low. I'll bet he's I'll bet he's within 30, 35 pitches total through three innings, which is really really a good spot to be in. Frank Mays could do strikeout. Tatum Marble committed to go up north and play. We'll go to the bottom half when we come back. One thing that I think is awesome about USU Brigham is how personal it is. I've loved small classes, and I'm shocked how professors have got to know me. To be able to save money, have school three minutes away from my house has been awesome. I want to teach high school kids. I want to be involved with their lives and try to help them be the best that they can be. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm Hunter Morgan, and I'm an Aggie. Reserve the Pinehams back room for any occasion, day or night. Whether it's for a birthday party, wedding celebration, or your weekly meetings, they've got you covered. There's plenty of room, and if you want, they can cater your special event, or you can simply order off the menu. For all your embroidery and screen printing needs, whether for business or just for fun, stop by Cover Up in Tremont or Brigham. At Cover Up, yeah, we can do that. For all your project needs, shop at Greer's Hardware. Happily serving the community since 1976. Whether it's drinks or treats, get your fix at Soda Fix. Thanks for shopping here at Kent. Thanks for shopping here at Kent. We appreciate your business here at Kent. Thanks for shopping here at Kent. Thank you for shopping here at Kent. Welcome back here to Fairfield. Changing it up a little bit, Egan Rigby. First one up here for the Bears. Stands in there, takes a strike. Another freshman here. Coach Hall's getting uh, some of the younger kids in the lineup. He's got a really good freshman class this year. He got four of them up uh, dressing varsity and uh, 
giving him a chance to do some things here. Macy with another one, and that goes low for a ball. Ties the count up a one. with the pitch that goes inside. Another ball here to Rigby. Deegan also a pitcher. Nice good young arm. Rigby on first. Now we go to number 19 here for the Bears. Jeff Hill. Hill takes the first pitch strike. Jeff, another young guy coming in, getting some time right here. It's a good, good uh, opportunity for these guys to get some varsity experience. You never know when you're going to need them. Check the runner at first. Rigby gets back. Good eye for Hill. Takes that ball, ties up the count. in the first strike from Macy. This one low and away. Ties the count up a two. Swing and a miss in the first strikeout, I believe, from Ted and Macy. It's a pitch right there. Comes a pretty. This, the Macy's got a pretty good uh, off-speed pitch, uh, especially if they get it down in the zone. It's a tough pitch to hit. Now to Jet Roach. They'll check the runner at first, and Rigby again gets back safe. Another underclassman right here that's getting a chance to play. Uh, a lot of times Jet comes in for defensive purposes uh, late in the games. Uh, does a great job there. Swings it from the left side. Get a chance to do a little hit here. High and away for a ball. Macy gives him the same look. Two all the count. Roach swings this one, hits it out to left, and it drops. And there's a single there for Roach. Good job by Jet right there. Uh, ball's on the outside, half to a lefty. Not going to try to do too much with it. Don't doesn't try to pull it. Stays inside out. Laces one into right uh, to left field. Base hit. Talon Marble now stepping into the batter's box here for the Bears, looking at two out, or one out, two one on, out. and then a hit by pitch. <laughs> That'll load that's, him up. Yeah, another another freshman right there. Another That's uh, B's little brother. Uh, Talon's a good good little player as well. Here comes another freshman. Going to get some more time with Garrick. There's a lot of marbles on this team, a lot of marbles and a lot of callisters, a lot of roaches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we like it. We like it. Garrick steps into the batter's box. 13 and 0 ball game. Macy with the first pitch, misses for a ball. Base is loaded. One out. Be interesting to see what uh, Garrick can do right here. Garrick's uh, is about a 6'4 freshman. Obviously had a really good season with the Bears basketball wise, but also can play baseball a little bit. This one up and out of play. 
gets into one right here, you might see two or, two or three runs score for sure. And that one stays in the zone for a strike. It's a good one, take. One ball, two strikes. Not much you could do with that pitch if he's going to call it a strike. That's fine. You got another one to play with. Come back right here, see if you can put the ball and play hard. Count tied at two. Bases loaded one out. Macy with the pitch, fouled away by Marble. Good job fighting right there by Garrick. Not your typical freshman right here. Played a lot of baseball, played a lot of varsity uh, with basketball. Probably not afraid of any moment coming in here. See if he can uh, square one up right here. Maybe with a pitch, and this one will miss. That's a tough pitch to take. It's a ball, it's obviously a ball. With two strikes, you know he's gonna double that one up on you, and he did a great job of taking that pitch and just saying, I'm gonna get something I can hit, so. Full count, here's the pitch, screaming in there. Another walk, and that'll bring another run in here for the Bears. Really good at bat right there by Garrick. I mean, you know, he kind of got called on one pitch that might have been a borderline pitch, and that's okay. Uh, did a good job spoiling a couple and uh, earned a walk. Good job for the freshman, and probably I think that's his first varsity at bat, so. That's, I was gonna say, that's the first time we've seen him. Another, another underclassman right here, I think this is Riker Jepson, gonna take a, take a uh, an at bat, good young, good looking young athlete. Still with one out, bases loaded still here for the Bears. First pitch goes for a ball from Macy. And a hit by pitch, bring another run in. Really like the presence right there, Riker. He doesn't didn't even really even move. He's like, hey, I guess if you're gonna hit me, I'm gonna take that. But uh, sometimes that's hard. You want to get out of the way, especially if you haven't you haven't had an at bat uh, yet, or very few at bats in the varsity game. And a timeout on the man. Another pitch and change here for Bonneville. <laughs> we'll go with number 13 now, Hayden Burton, here for the Lakers. <laughs> He'll take his warrior pitches. We'll take a commercial break. Uh, we'll be back here in the bottom half of inning number four. It's 15 nothing. Check out the Valley Headliner for stories and updates on your favorite Bear River sports, as well as local government and community events. Stay in the know with this digital news company so you don't miss out. The Valley Headliner, striving to become your number one news source. Caldwell Banker has a team of dedicated professionals who handle the complex process and make sure things run smoothly. Save time and money with Caldwell Banker. Lincoln Financial specializes in estate, investment, and retirement planning as well as business benefits. At Lincoln they are totally impartial, comb through different options to create financial products a person needs. Lincoln Financial, big city service, small town care. Do you or someone you love have a birthday coming up? Looking for a fun way to make it special? Then stop by the Pie Dump. They have a delicious cake for you and will even sing you a happy birthday song. Base 
Bases still loaded, one out, pitch and change. Again on the mound will be number 13, Hayden Burton. Now for the Bears, number 15, Landon Reeder. Good to see Landon getting out of bat right here. He's been doing a great job behind the plate catching Tayton today. Coach Hall's giving him a little bit of a reward, letting him swing the bat as well. First pitch from Hayden goes high for a ball. Swing and a miss, Reader. A lot of Bonnefield's pitchers relying on off-speed pitches today. Looks like uh, that's a that's a good thing for us. Give us a chance to see some more. Foul ball. Hit down the third base line. Burton head in the count. One two. Sells this one up high. Ties the count up. Bear still with only one out. Burton breaks its side, full count. Pop up like that, there's a pretty good chance I could do that. <laughs> They're line driving at line <laughs> driving at me. Just duck behind the camera, use it as a weapon, <laughs> as a shield. Burton with another one. And a swing and a miss and the first strike out here for Burton. Gets out to pursue at the plate. Another Collister up to bat. First time we'll see Alex at the plate. We saw him running bases. Another another younger player right here. Uh, good athlete. Started for the football team. Had some significant minutes on the basketball team and uh, get a chance here in the baseball. Great kid. Got quite a few three sport players. Which is good. We, we love that around here because uh, obviously with our numbers, <laughs> we, we, don't, uh, we don't do well when we specialize. We gotta have all the guys that can play, play in all our sports and our coaches do a good job of uh, making sure that uh, kids are able to do the things that they wanna do, so. Collister sidesteps out of this one. We'll get hit in the back by that one. And around the bases we go for another run. Coming in here for the Bears, 16 nothing. So now we'll go to number 20 here for the Bears. Stepping up for the first time here this afternoon, Calvin Carter. Reminds me of uh, Bull Durham right there, little Epi Calvin. Sends this one out to right. Can't make the play out on right. It'll drop. Runner scores. It's a good job by Calvin right there. Uh, he didn't hit the ball far, but he did a good job hitting it on a line. Right fielder was actually in a good, pretty good spot to make the catch. Just. Uh, Kind of, kind of dropped that one. Next up, we go to number 25. Back up to Deacon Rigby. Still bases loaded. Here's a pitch from Burton High for ball. Pop 
loves this one. I'm going down the left field. And they'll make the bleeding stop. Just got underneath that one a little bit. Just missed that one. Actually took a pretty good hack at a, at a good pitch, but uh, didn't quite get enough on that one. 16 nothing. We'll go to the top of the fifth when we come back. Andy Marchant Photography specializes in portraits, family pictures, bridals, and engagements. He also takes thousands of photos of Bear River Sports, allowing you to sit back and enjoy the game while he captures all the action. Check out his website, andymarchant.com, or follow him on Instagram. Let him help you preserve your memories at a great price. We appreciate your business here at Kent. Thanks for shopping here at Kent. Thank you for shopping here at Kent. Thanks for shopping here at Kent. Thanks for shopping at Kent. Thanks for shopping here at Kent. Thank you for shopping here at Kent. Thank you for shopping with Kent. Thanks for shopping here at Kent. For all your project needs, shop at Greer's Hardware. Happily serving the community since 1976. Let Academy Mortgage help you get into the home of your dreams. Give them a call today. Welcome back here to Bear River High School. The Bears have got the lead 16 0. Tatum Marble with a good. Day on the mound. He'll be replaced now with number 22, Derek Dean. Dino's had a lot of a lot of varsity experience. He comes in late in games, kind of our closer. So Coach Haas giving him some experience right here, getting more time on the bump. Great kid, works really really hard. Understands that he's probably not going to be the flashiest guy out there, but uh, he's going to grind. Justin Parkhurst tries to take the first pitch. It goes by as a strike. Dino comes down on that, that sidearm angle for those of you that are uh, old school fans, little Dan Quisenberry style there. Another swing and a miss here from Bonneville. Parkhurst, the first victim here to Derek Dean and a Frank Mayskadu strikeout. Great job by Derek right there, just not messing around. Said, here's a here's a pitch, put the bat on it if you need to, but uh, I'm going to challenge you right here, not going to come in and waste time. And this one in there for a strike again from Derek Dean. Cole Minnick, swinging a miss from him, strike two. He yeah. not messing around. Oh, a, here's a pitch. Go hit it. This one fouled away by Minnick. Oh. And this one popped up high. Playable and an out. Ashton gets under that one. You like to see that from Derek. I, I know we're up 16 0. It, it, he easily could have been kind of relaxed right here and just kind of come out and had some fun, which is great. Uh, but he's taking the role as a closer uh, seriously, coming out here and doing work. Just saying, listen, I'm going to treat this game like we're up one run instead of up 16. We're going to come in and get shut the door on everybody. Adam Burton, first look. Goes by as a pitch. As goes a, by as a uh, as a strike. Yeah, hasn't thrown that's a ball the, yet. <laughs> <laughs> that's the word I was looking. For. There you go. That's that's uh, twelve straight strikes right there by Dino. Man. Could have had an immaculate inning right there, but uh, one kid fouled one off, so he got got an extra pitch. So. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
and there's a Frank May Skidoo strikeout. 13 pitches, three strikeouts. That's pretty efficient. And I would say that's how you close out a game. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that was 10 pitches, three strikeouts, not 13. I need to do my math right there. Good showing here for the Bears. Win it back to back. Move up to seven and six on the season. We'll be back to region play next week. We'll have the, I believe it's Logan. Uh, I think it's Skyview next week. You're right. We'll have that one for you as well. That will be on Tuesday right here at Bear River High School. We'll have that one for you next here for baseball. But we got the greatest rival rivalry in the state tomorrow night. It'll be softball. The Box of the Bees coming into town, taking on the Bear River Lady Bears. That'll be that'll be a great matchup right there. Both teams playing pretty well, from what I understand. So that'll be be a good matchup for us. Good to see the kids having some fun, coming out here playing. Really a really a good week. Got uh, two games, two wins with uh, double digit uh, runs on the board. Need to have that going into the rest of region play. Uh, dropping that series to Ridgeline now just means there's less margin for error, and so they're going to have to be playing well the rest of the, t the rest of the way out. So, yeah, a lot of sports doing good. The Lady Bears already got a win early this yeah. week. Bears lacrosse, we covered them all the last night. They got a win in overtime. Very good. Yeah, we got uh, eight eight sports this fall, you know, or spring. <laughs> in the springtime, it uh, gets a little busy around here, especially if they're all at home. <laughs> we, there was one day we had a baseball game, a softball game, a tennis match, and a track meet. That was that was quite the quite the experience over here. So yeah, the parking lot was full. Yeah, next year hopefully we can even have uh, baseball, softball, track, tennis, and one of the lacrosse teams, or possibly a soccer game. So all in basically the same complex. That'll be nice. That will be nice. Look forward to the turf over there. Yes, sir. All right, we'd like to thank our sponsors for making this possible. Like I said, we've got softball for you tomorrow. We're bringing you the most athletic coverage. And it's all thanks to these sponsors right here. We'd like to thank the Pi Dump, BRB News, Zona Fix. We'd like to thank Utah State University, Caldwell Banker, Greer Suit Best Hardware, Tanglewood Studios, The Grill, Academy Mortgage, CNR Trailer Sales, The Till Mill. Frank Mays Canoe, Chancellor Sun Farms, Kent's Market, Lincoln Financial, Andy Martin Photography, Cover Up, and last but not least, American Secure Title. Well, Clay, we thank you again for helping us out. Absolutely. My pleasure. It's always fun to be here. You guys do a great job. We appreciate uh, you guys' efforts in uh, bringing, uh, making, making it a little bit of big time here for our, our student athletes. They love, being, they love being on TV. So it's, uh, it's always a nice uh, day when the Bear River Live's out here covering us. So thank you, guys. One of the many reasons why we do it. Yeah. All right, that'll wrap us up here. We'll see you if you're a baseball fan. We'll see you next week for as they host Skyview here on Tuesday. If you're a softball fan, we'll see you tomorrow for the Bees and the Lady Bears. For us here, final on this one, 16 nothing for the Bears. You can watch it forever live. Thank <laughs> you.